something about this cave just spooked me out of all the caves I've ever gone in. This one just made my body vibrate. The closer I got to it, the crazier my body felt. And I was like, all right, I'm not gonna go in there right now, but I'm coming back someday. When you think of some of the greatest mysteries on the internet, the ones that you completely obsess over trying to figure out what really could have happened, the first one that should come to your mind is that of Snakebit McGee. After all, this is the story of a guy who documented his own disappearance, and yet we know very little about what really happened. But there have been many theories to come out on Snakebit McGee. And one of them just might lead us to the truth of what really happened in that M cave. This is the unsolved mystery of Snakebit McGee. Kenny Veach first uploaded to YouTube on September 2nd, 2014. In this video, he had a proposal in which he auctioned off his house. But this story begins later on that year. A conspiracy video about Area 51 was uploaded to YouTube. And Kenny Veach left the following comment. I am a long distance hiker. One time during my hikes out by the Nellis Air Force Base, I found a hidden cave. The entrance to the cave was shaped like a perfect capital M. I always enter every cave I find, but as I began to enter this particular cave, my whole body began to vibrate. The closer I got to the cave entrance, the worse the vibrating became. Suddenly, I became very scared and hightailed it out of there. This was one of the strangest things that ever happened to me. Little did Kenny Veach know that this comet would set off a series of events that would ultimately become one of the biggest mysteries on the internet. After this comment, his fans and subscribers encouraged him to go back and find the cave and put it on video. So he did just that. On October 18th, 2014, Snakebit McGee would upload a video titled M Cave Hike. In this video, he would explain the comment and then document his experience on searching for the M Cave. Unfortunately, on this trip, he was not able to locate that exact cave. However, there is one moment in this video that the comments point out is kind of eerie. The theory is that in the video he actually did see the cave and felt something off and continued to play it off. However, I would like to point out that this is just a theory and there is absolutely no proof to it. In fact, I believe this theory comes from the fact that people just want the truth to be less cynical than it probably actually is. After this, Kenny Veach decided he was going to go back out into the wild and search for that cave once again. So in November of 2014, he did just that. And unfortunately, this is where the story of Snakebit McGee ends and the unsolved mystery of Kenny Veach begins. After reportedly going out and searching for the M cave once more, Kenny Veach never returned. It was reported in the local news that Kenny Veach had gone missing. And over time, more and more people would wonder on YouTube what happened to Snakebit McGee. The comments were flooding in, asking if he was okay and if he ever found that mysterious cave. And as the time continued to pass, all we heard was more and more silence. This is when the theories began to flood in. The entire YouTube and internet community banded together to try to figure out what could have really happened. And then, just over one year ago in 2021, we got a little bit more insight. A channel by the name of Exploring Abandoned Mines and Unusual Places uploaded a unique video. The video claimed that he found the M Cave of Kenny Veach. And in this video, it seems that he might have. And in the cave, there was actually remnants of somebody being in there. Take a look. I'm not sure if what that says hatch. Looks like an H, A, T, and then I'm not sure where the CH is. Maybe I've got covered by the time now. Or is that Veach? Looks like. However, the people in the comments were not convinced. People claim that this cave looks similar and it was set up to look like Kenny Veach's cave to cover up what really happened. But if that's the case, then what did really happen? 
Something that cannot be forgotten in this entire story is that the area that Kenny Veach was searching for caves in was right beside Area 51. So could Kenny Veach have discovered something he wasn't supposed to? Maybe he ventured a little too far and this entire thing is just a government cover up. At least that's what many people believe and theorize. I mean, it makes sense considering where he was and what he was doing. However, there is another theory that provides a little bit more of a logical explanation. See, in the report that had Kenny Veach missing, they said that they found his cell phone outside of an abandoned mine. And there are claims that the mine that his cell phone was left at is the same one from the NK video. And why would you leave your phone somewhere unless you simply just didn't want to be found? What if Kenny Veach simply went out with no intentions on ever coming back? And this theory actually has a little bit of proof to go along with it. Over a year after his disappearance, there was a new comment left under that original in cave hike video. It was by a woman named Sherry Pilgrim who claimed she was the girlfriend that Kenny Veach had mentioned. In the comment, she claimed that Kenny Veach had been struggling with depression for a while and that they had had conversations and she flat out asked him if he was going to quote pull a Robin Williams. And this comment gets even more sad when she makes the claim that he didn't even take his video camera out when he went on that final hike. She quotes him saying that nobody would ever find him if he did it. It's been six years since this comment was left and people are still struggling to believe it. And although this comment seems to be genuine and factual, there's really no way for us to know if everything is true or what really happened. Personally, I choose to believe that somehow, somewhere, Kenny Veach is doing what he loves most. Hiking and searching for caves. Hey guys, thank you for watching another What Happened To video. A couple of quick reminders for you. Number one, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on. And number two, if you have any recommendations on videos that you want to see, leave a comment or DM me over on Instagram. My Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch is all just at Crenbeast. I will be doing plenty of giveaways coming up soon, so make sure to follow me over there. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and liking and sharing these videos. I couldn't do it without you guys. Again, thank you, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and blessings. See you guys.